Hi friends a few days back we got a chance to visit the construction site of Ram temple at Ayodhya to meet and interact with Ashish Sompura the architect of Ram temple the uniqueness of what we saw discussed and experienced was something which we believe had to be shared with everyone and that led to an impromptu interview with Ashish at the temple site itself sharing the excerpts with you Ashish Sompura he is the main architect for the Ram temple and Ashish comes from a family who are architects temple architects for the past 500 years we are very lucky to uh, meet up with Ashish here you know, and uh, have a few questions with Ashish since the Nagashwini temple and uh, now so, uh, see normally sir uh, rectangle or square based garbhagrahas over over here you will find octagonal garbhagraha which is completely different because uh, this is a shape of vishnu and ram is a avatar of vishnu so it's an octagonal shaped garbhagraha and the shikhara is also made in a same similar octagonal shape so you will find some completely different shikhar than any other shikhar what you see in a hindu temple uh, nagashali temple it's a completely a different uh, thing second thing to be uh, have separated the whole uh, design the conceptual design of the iconography in temple which is uh, based on the theme of each and every dome yes uh, like in a kirtan mandap if you see so the devangna over here which is iconography which is carved which has been you know dancing or playing musical uh, instrument that kind of you will find uh, welcoming uh, devangna and all there even dev on the middle portion is dev uh, dev of our god So the same thing is being happening to those uh, pictures, and the devis are also in a similar way we have made it. So it's a completely conceptualized uh, iconography in that. Second thing, uh, unique feature is a lower plane here. So in the lower plane, we are going to have a three-dimensional uh, Ramayan, uh, uh, Ramayan uh, person, all the uh, main person that 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 is been carved in uh, stone in three dimensions. It's two and a half. in feet that so you will find rama real rama if you are standing like that and the background will be also of the same similar uh, uh, as valmiki rama and is been predicted like what kind of a atmosphere was there okay. so whatever he has written from that right up we are making sketches it's not just like we are just picking up any photograph and doing it okay. so traditionally what uh, valmiki ji has uh, explained he, uh, what was the scenario at that particular time that been scenario has been sketched by the artist and from uh, that artist we are making clay model we are finalizing clay model from clay model it is going to be a fiber model a fiber to stone and then it is going to be put up so there is a completely unique thing the rama from ram janm to complete journey when he arrived in ayodhya again after winning the ravana and the mocking ravana everything So you can find completely here all around, all around the city, and on the top of the temple. The upper wall is closed. Inner is open. Inner is open. You can see the whole temple. The outer wall is for the security. It's basically closed. So on that wall, there is a wall that is made of stone. Wall 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 is made of stone. Made in bronze mural, the shape of bronze mural, and that is being, uh, you know, on the wall there will be here. So people who ever come here, they anyone will uh, come here, they'll get the complete knowledge of Hinduism, of the Rasam Dharma. It's the first temple in the world which has been structurally analyzed by the experts uh, for 2,500 years. So the, from the foundation to the top level, it is being done like whatever the calibration has come in next 2,500 years. This temple is going to be the remain. Okay. 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 Okay.
So we contacted all the soil experts, all the structure uh, um, uh, experts of uh, IIT from all over India. The committee has been made, and then how which kind of a foundation would be appropriate for this. So that was the challenge, and then after that, we must feel like no, we have to dig till 40 to 45 feet, and then engineering field has been done, and that is a specialized mix. Okay. It's not just sand or the this is, they have calculated a proper mix that this much of a cement portion, this much of a sand, this much of a granules, this big granules and all this stuff. And then one feet layer is to be should be made and then it should it is going to be compacted till nine inches. Okay. So that compaction should be there, it's like a, almost a concrete base, you can say. Then it comes to a ground level, then from ground level to the print level, you should go to print level. Again, that's a challenge. Then, what to do? There are no print area to be built up, you know, to get it up uh, till uh, this height. So, again, the thought has been done. So, this is completely a solid granite block. So, so which is almost a 1.5 one, one kind of times more weight than the superstructure. So, it has been stabilized like that. The second challenge was Few things have come up that. Uh, for 2,500 years, it is safe for 500 years. But if you are going for a 2,500 years, few solid walls and few column width has to be increased. So that was the challenge. Like originally, design was done. Then now this additional stone, what to do with this? So that part is to be integrated in the actual design. So that was the that challenge was for us. Like if you see the solid wall. This was not there initially, but after the completion of structure analysis has been done, they need this kind of a wall. So we have to articulate this wall like it was a part of this structure only, and then done it. So that was the two challenges. So the whole country is looking forward to this central becoming great. Thank you on behalf of the whole country for <laughs> getting this. Thanks a lot. Thank you. Thank you.